now it's time for contour. I like to contour just with powder because I don't want it too contoured. Get my contouring brush from Napoleon. It's on a little bit of an angle. I don't know if you can tell. But it's on an angle. It's brush 15B from Napoleon. Just get your bronzer. My island bronzer. And just get a little bit. And then it's like in your cheeks. And follow down your cheekbone where the shadow would be, where it's darkest. I start from up here and just brush down. See, let's just put a shadow underneath here. Like where you suck your cheeks in. And now, I think I might do a bit more on this side actually. Now, let's get my MAC blush. It's running out as you can see because I like to use it to death. And your blush brush, swirl it around a bit, and don't. And then I just do a, a long cheekbones. Okay, so now I've now I've changed my lighting. I think my computer screen makes me look really white when I come up close, so you can't see what I'm doing to my face very well. But I've over contoured a bit. See, I'm really contoured. Usually, I wouldn't do it that much. But it's hard to tell in that light. If you do find your over contour, you can just get your sponge with the excess powder on it and just turn it down a bit with the the sponge that you use to put your powder on. And see that turns it down a lot now. Because you don't want it that low, it's too low when it goes like that. So now it's just going down the side of my cheeks, just to contour. And put some more blush on my cheeks. And then I get my mineralized skin finish by MAC. It's just a shimmer powder, but you put it on the highlight of your cheekbones. So you just dab it and you only put a little bit and it creates a shimmer effect. You know you see people's skin and it's all like shiny and shit. Not oily but nice and shimmery on their cheekbones, you just put it just on to highlight so when the light hits your cheekbone you can't really see it because this lighting is shit and now the final step which I like to do last is putting on false eyelashes I like these ones because they're nice and long and they have a little glitter in them I'm obsessed with collecting false eyelashes. I have a million. I have those ones that I just showed you and I also have these little ones. I find these ones look a bit more fake though. I like more natural ones. And I also have dark purple ones which I haven't used yet. And I got feather ones. Don't ask me where I'm going to wear those ones. I think they're more for just decorative photography makeup. And then I've got mini purple ones. And I've got long purple ones. I've never worn purple eyelashes, so I don't know what they look like, but I just like them. And then I've got my full drag queen eyelashes. And they're really long. My drag queen ones. And then... These are my favourite. My pink and black ones. 
with little feathers on the end. They're so hot. I've never worn those ones either. I just think they're so nice. I've just been too scared to put them on. I'm just going to put my normal ones on for now. The best way to put false eyelashes on, put a bit of glue on the top. Wait about 20 seconds for the glue to go nice again. So then it gets a bit tacky and don't really touch it but you just wait a bit because then the glue goes a bit more sticky and then I find if you put a mirror flat on a desk and you look down into the mirror as you're doing your eyelashes you can actually get a better view of your lash line you can get them closer to your lash line which is what you want now I have my false lashes on they're nice and close to my lash line you can't see them on my lash line these ones are really Hmm. They're nice and long. I quite like them. And now, finishing touches. I use my Australis Ready Set Go finishing powder. Just get your blush brush. It's white, translucent powder, so you only need a little bit. Getting powder everywhere. Here. And just dust it on your skin. Now, I have my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Hold it and shake it up a bit. This one makes your makeup last really long as well. Hold it a bit far away, close your eyes and just give it a light spray. Now my makeup will last forever. There you go. And that is how I do my makeup for the day. Well, for when I go out really. Lately, I just can't be bothered and fucked to do my makeup like this. It takes so long, as you can tell. Let's see you later in my next video.